Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night or whenever you're watching. Just pray it's blessed in Jesus. We're so thankful you're here with us. Our good friends over at Rose Publishing has published this Christopher Hudson book that is fantastic. Self-guided tour of the Bible and simple summaries for all 66 books of the Bible, eight key themes in the Bible that help you grasp the big picture, 100 people in the Bible everybody should know, stunning maps with vivid descriptions of Bible lands, timeline of world and Bible events side by side, Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. I don't know why, but like since the Dixon's Analytical was the first Bible I ever saw really do that, we've got a review of that here on the channel, um, I've always been fascinated with the uh, what was happening in the secular world at the same time as Bible events. I don't know why that is, but I just, I guess because I'm uh, like history or something, but I just enjoy it. You may not. It's also reproducible, it says. So it's got reproducible section. I don't know if the whole thing is reproducible. I didn't look at that, but it's real conservative too. Like it's like uh, it's got pretty much the uh, basic um chronology that's conservative evangelical i would be more of an usher lloyd chronology guy floyd nolan jones um i understand why they get to like the 1446 date for the exodus and this type thing but uh i would still go with 1491 1492 but that's just me um but it's got the thicker paper again which i really like so there's really no bleed through and we're meeting characters of the bible let's i mean like john the baptist harbinger of jesus when and where 5 bc to 28 a.d israel the wilderness of judea read about him it gives his scripture significance the miracle child of elderly parents introduced jesus to the world and baptized him isn't it fascinating like you have a couple of miracle children uh, to open the New Testament, but you also have Adam and Eve, you could call them miracle children of God, so to speak, and then Abraham with uh, Sarah and Isaac in Genesis. It's all kind of cool um, how the Bible fits together. Chronological listing of the books is grouped by era and theme, the beginning, uh, like it have Genesis and Job, and then on and on and so forth but just good stuff like southern israel here's the jordan river where i baptized dad i helped baptize like 49 people in the jordan river it was kind of cool here in south georgia you'd have to have the miracle of the rebuking of the cotton mouths the gars the water moccasins and the alligators before you're baptizing people you say in Jesus' name, they joke, they don't have enough time to say Father, Son, Holy Ghost before the gators get them. They just say in Jesus. No, we know it's Jesus' name because it's the Bible. That's one of those jokes. Somebody said the drought was so bad that the uh, Baptist went to wipe him with a damp cloth. And uh, anyhow, we won't even go into all that. So, but like in Judges, it'll have like Othniel, meaning of the name, line of God. See, that's another thing that's always fascinated me is the meaning of names because there's nothing accidental or incidental in Scripture. Hat tip to Raymond Woodward for that quote. Uh, peeking into the future, heaven and hell and eternity. Um, the big reveal. So... I mean, I would really recommend this. Now, I haven't flipped through every page in this book, so I can't vouch for everything in here. You, you may want to get a copy before you pass it out at your church or new converts or give it out and flip it through everyone and just make sure there's nothing that you would just vehemently disagree with. But most of this is... You know why I like like Unger stuff and Wilmington stuff, like Wilmington's Guide to the Bible, Unger's Bible Dictionary, and Unger's Bible Handbook, and different things like that, is that they're informational. Um, because and they kind of stay away from doctrine. Doctrine is important, but I really like it. So the works of Plato. Written around 400 B.C., only 210 copies have survived. The earliest surviving manuscript was copied in 895 A.D. 
Whereas the New Testament, you have over four, uh, 5,000 portions have survived, fragments for, survived from a few decades after the texts were first written. So it's just showing you why you can trust your Bible. Um, so just good stuff. Rose Publishing, Carson, California. Man, looking through this. Um, the Bible is just plain massive. Consider the best-selling novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, contains around 99,000 words. Dickens' Heftier Tale of Two Cities, which I've read maybe twice. It's wonderful. 135,000 words. Now consider the Bible has around 800,000 words. Um, War and Peace by Tolstoy. It's more than 1,000 pages in length. And it's about 200,000 words shorter than the Bible. And we also talk about how big War and Peace is. So the coming kingdom. This is just good. Let's see how many pages it is. It's 235 pages. It has an index at the back. A little advertisement for Rose Publishing stuff, which I really good. And Christian history made easy might be good. Hmm. I shouldn't have looked at that. Um, let me just see this. Eight biblical themes. God is. God is awesome. People are broken. God rescues us in Christ. We live by faith. The world is not all there is. Life is a team sport. All will be well. I'll mention life is short, too. Wow. This is unbelievable stuff. I got to show. I appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in. Look at this bridge. I know Sister Waldron would appreciate this bridge. We've been over some of the biggest bridges in America. We've been on the highest paved road in America. And then she's been over the Pontchartrain Bridge a couple times. She aced that bridge going to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan in the UP, eating patsies up there. She aced that bridge. She's not a big bridge person, though, but she's, she doesn't play bridge, but she's done great. So this is great. Self-guided tour of the Bible. I really like it. Um, just good stuff. What can I say? It's a very good basic thing of, of things of the Bible. I may like Rose's publishing little hardback book, uh, Bible Overview, maybe just a little better. But this one is good too. And that's subject to change. The more I get into this, I'm liable to switch that view as more information comes to light. God bless you. We love you. Thanks for being here with us. Check out all our other videos. We've got over 5,000 now, I think. So pray for us, and let's just reach the world with uh, the truth of the Christian message, Christian knowledge. Talk with you later in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.